So looking at what spread does for us, spread moves the pin towards the outside of the boat or inside of the boat. So bigger spread numbers outside, smaller spread numbers inside. And spread is really adjustment for what sort of arc stroke or arc length you're gonna have. So if it's far to the outside of the boat and you don't change anything else, you're going to have a smaller total stroke arc. If it's to the inside of the boat or you're bringing your pivot point in, then you could have a longer arc. And why you would want to adjust this is for a short person, you would want the pin to be in so they could have the same arc as someone with longer reach or someone with longer arms that can get out further and, uh, and accomplish that arc without having to have the pivot point so close to them. So here's about where I get to at the catch with the pin adjusted all the way out. And bringing our pin in here, I can then get a much steeper catch angle. So this would help me get a better catch angle than uh, you know, if I was trying to row with someone that was six foot two and I'm only five and a half feet tall or so. So this is really a height adjustment. And then of course, as you, or as you bring the pin closer and you increase the total arc, you're moving more water with the blade. You're covering more distance, which will make it feel heavier to the athlete. So as you bring the pin in, you may also want to consider shortening the overall length of the oar to lower the load factor and keep everything in perfect proportion. So pin in, bigger arc, pin out, smaller arc. And of course, if you have a bigger athlete, they're gonna have a bigger arc naturally, so you may want to have the pin further up for them. Shorter athlete, pin brought in for them. So it's really just a height metric. It's not something you want to think about for adjusting the load of your crew. It's really just to get all the uh, stroke arcs the same, the catch angles and the finish angles equal together. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.